Howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, we got an emergency call. A pipe burst. That's right, so who do they call? They call the pipe doctor. Is there a pipe doctor in the house? Well, unfortunately, there is for me. I'm the pipe doctor, and it always happens on a Friday night, and that's what happened last night. Let me pick you up. I'm at this undisclosed location, and as you can see, this is not any ordinary building. This is, well, it speaks for itself. These cavernous buildings, well, they're home to, you know what they're home to, airplanes and helicopters and other rich man's toys. But even they have problems and that's what they have here. On a Friday night, it always never fails. Leaks happen and here's what happened. Here's my money maker today, the boom lift. Thankfully they have one on site and they always have a piece of pipe that breaks, but you can see that they have their water damage and their curtains out, but that piece of pipe is bad somewhere. I don't know where it burst, if it's that little piece right there, or if it's all of that. But to me, it looks like it's that piece. So hopefully we just wanna change that piece. We'll see when I get up there. Or we'll change that, looks a little bad right there even. I will get up there and we'll inspect that more. So let's, uh... yeah, you know what we're gonna do. Let's get to work, shall we? As usual, whenever somebody else shuts down the system, they shut down both systems. So I'm filling two systems at once, said a little prayer. You can see how I pegged both those flow switches. Let's go take a look at our work. Well, this is part of the ambiance. That's uh, somebody's little weekender. You know how I fly drones and ride my bicycle? This guy flies his jet. I don't know if that's a jet, it's a prop propeller. But I'm sure it's just as fun as anything I get that I kick out of. You always want to run back as soon as possible, check your work. So it looks good from here. Nothing's blowing apart. Now, sometimes you got to be careful because there's a loop system. So you will learn that the hard way if you fill this up and if this is a loop system, it'll be blowing out the other side over there, but I double checked and this is just a regular graded system. Hey, what are you doing up there? What? You wanna go for a ride with me? You've never been on a boom lift before? Okay, well, come on in. Show you what it looks like up here. If you've never been on a boom lift, well, it's got all kinds of booms and controllers, but let's go up and look at our work way up there. You can see where I took it, took and taking it apart, taking it apart. So these things are all different. And you've got to push your foot in like this. And then, I don't have my GoPro, it's, it's a two-hander. Everything's a two-hander. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna go up. Let's go ahead and lift up. Oh, first turn it on. Now we'll go up. See how easy that is? But they're all different. They all take a little different. But I couldn't do this with one hand, I don't think. But right now we're going up and we're gonna go check that work I just did. And I, this is the only angle I can give you right now because, well, I just told you, it's two-hander. But we're going up and up and up. And as soon as we get up here, we're going to turn the turret. You see how it says, rotate turret. So I'm going to do this and turn. And that's turning the whole thing down there. 
Let's see if I can get you to see that. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can do it two hands. Look, Mom, one hand. So the whole turret is turning. I didn't know you call it a turret, but that's where we're going to go look at that plug right there. And you can see they had to take stuff off the walls because everything got wet. So I'm going to show you where the pipe went bad. But this is a slow moving rig and that's a good thing. You don't want to move fast way up here. Up here you don't want to move fast. So let's see if I can do this one handed again. We're going to extend this out. Let's see. This way. other way this way see how it's coming out now so that's a boom lift in action it's got some bald tires I don't want to show you those but like I said we're just going up here to check this little plug we can see it's not dripping so we're okay but I do want to show you the damage that was done in the overnight hour but the funny thing is, it, it couldn't happen at a worse place. It was right here at the, right there. Let me see if I can swing us over some more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put you back where, I, where you had you, right here. Here we go, rotate. Now I'm gonna extend. Oh, I can do two things at once. Look at, I can use my fi two fingers. I can lift and extend. You just gotta be careful what's behind you. I don't know, you gotta be look all around. But now I'm gonna, right about underneath my pipe, so I'm gonna go up. And extend out more. Well, that's as much as it'll go. So maybe I need to do the riser. That's what I need to do, riser. All right, enough out of me. We'll go take a couple pictures, how about that? That's always good for the video, take a couple pictures. And it's good for the boss to see what you've been doing. get you a little bit closer here. Let me see if I put you down. Quit messing around here. I'm gonna put you down right there. You can stare at me while I get us out of there. feel to be on the ground. There's your boom lift. And here's your leak. I'm going to turn you off and take some pictures. But this is the pipe that I need to replace while I'm resting one day. We're going to come back and replace all this pipe. I measured it up and there's the leak right there. Split wide open on a Friday night. You see it. You see it. All right, let's take a picture. I think what we need to do is add some air vent valves on the end of these lines or at least on each hanger because it's trapped full of air see that's this problem with those combination test and drain valves they trap all the system full of air on a regular inspector's test you'd be able to bleed the air out but not here all right let's take some pictures and get out of here on a saturday let's get to work Let's get down. This time I'm just going to put you on the ground. Sorry for the view, but that's all you're going to get right there. Let's get down. How about that? Come on now. I'm going to rotate left. Now we're going down. Extending down. Like I said, everything is slow here. You want to go slow. You don't want to be 
I've heard stories where people have been thrown off of these baskets. They should be, I, I really should be tied in with a lanyard around my hole. They call that a safety harness. So OSHA, if you're watching me, forgive me. But if you are watching, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, you know the drill. I don't know if OSHA knows the drill. All right, now we're gonna rotate turret. Rotating, rotating. This is going to be a long video for a scissor boom lift. But, I don't know. We have a short attention span as humans, and it's getting shorter. They say our attention span is eight seconds. So I don't blame you for moving along. But you got to wait till the end for the... As always. All right, there we go. Tur turned around, now we're going down. Down, and down goes down pretty fast, doesn't it? I think it says, I'm done working, I wanna get down. Mark lift, scissor, boom lift, ride. And there's the controller. Well, this one's long enough, but you know, as always, I'd like to thank you for coming along with me on these pin leak hole Saturday adventures. Boy, the pipe docker is in the house and the system's back on so everybody can sleep tonight. All right, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these little adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.